How real do you see the threat from the Kremlin at this point when it comes to Polish territory? Well, I think Poland is safe. I think NATO is safe. But the threat to European security system is very real. And as you said, we are talking about it in Warsaw because the center of gravity of the transatlantic alliance of European security has moved to the east. And it has moved to the east because of Putin and his war in Ukraine. So we are gathering today with a number of prime ministers, presidents, uh, the first lady of Ukraine, uh, and of course lots of foreign and defense ministers to really figure out both how we can address this threat and really uh, how does the European security system looks, frankly, after Putin, because what he is doing right now is he's undermining himself. Yeah, so what is the end game there, I guess? Exactly. So when you think about this a bit more broadly, there is a dual track. We're not just talking about uh, national security and the security mm -hmm. of NATO countries, but we're also talking about energy security as well. Recently, Olaf Scholz, the Chancellor of Germany, has put forward a $200 billion, or sorry, Euro energy plan that uh, has raised the hackles of mm -hmm. a lot of countries, Lithuania, Hungary, Italy as well. People are very, very worried about um, energy security plans that mm -hmm. don't necessarily fit for every EU country. How does that factor in? to what we're going to hear today? Well, it's, it's a key topic at the forum. There is actually a whole track that will focus entirely on energy security and climate, right? Because we are trying to, to do both energy transition while maintaining energy security. Uh, Russia is using energy as a weapon, uh, both in uh, practical terms, but also when we see with the attacks on Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2, which sabotage, let's call it this way, which points to Russia as well, they are threatening us, the NATO countries, uh, with damaging our critical infrastructure. So these are all topics that are at the top of our mind ahead of what hope to be, hopes to be a mild winter, but the winter is coming, yeah. uh, and we'll see where we go uh, with energy and energy security. Yeah, 